Hello everyone. Um, so when I was talking about um the whole Alex Jones thing last week, I mentioned that there was another story that I had that um, the other day. That there was another story that I had, but I didn't bother to cover it because the only person I'd known that had covered it was Sanders, and he hadn't put names out specifically for the reasons he had actually gone to the authorities. Now. The reason why I'm bringing this up is the plain simple fact is the cat out of the back. It's now common public knowledge who the girl is and um, although we don't have an identity on the boy, there are pictures still up on the internet with her with the boy. Now, now a lot of people are going to think, yeah but if she's 18 and he's 13, what's the issue? Um, apart from the fact that in vast majority of countries it is actually illegal. And the reason why it is illegal is because people generally under the age of, depending on where you live, 15 to 18, don't have the mental capacity to actually consent to sexual activity while they're underage because they don't know they don't always know the consequences of doing that they don't always understand what that means for a relationship they don't understand when you're a kid you think you know everything and you don't basically uh, but it's also the fact that it's it's just not good um I will say for clarity on this, between me and the husband there is a negative gap, um, but the issue is I was in my late 20s, he was in his 30s when we got together and, you know, everything was legal. And the fact that the boy's mum seems to be okay with this, but her, she did a video about it explaining everything uh, with the boy's mum and they were saying, well, there, there was no relationship, but if even if the, we and we we had gone to my lawyer and we had spoken to my lawyer, and if there had been a relationship but there was no sex, that would have been fine. It's just if there was sexual contact, contact involved, then that becomes an issue. And it's like, yeah, but most thirteen-year-olds, they're full of hormones, they're full of that urge that you get when you're literally being pumped, your body's being pumped full of hormones because you're going through puberty. He. I probably think they have, but she's saying they haven't to save face. But that's my opinion. There's no proof that proof to that, but it is my opinion. But at the end of the day, there is a reason why there is a statue of there is a reason why there is an age limit. And that is because especially in today's society, kids don't understand anything. They don't understand what's going on. They don't understand consequences they don't understand jack shit and they can't consent to something they don't understand the slightest thing about and it's like if it had been the other way around she'd have been arrested like that and i have heard certain terms being thrown out there like grooming and you know she's monster this that and the other I think she thinks she's still quite immature, which today's, I'm going to sound really old now, today's generation, they're like 18, 19, 20, they do act like they are about four years younger than they actually are, but even in that instance, you still have to realise, you're 18, he's 30, he's still a child, you're an adult. And the fact that she doesn't comprehend any of this, that she she thinks she hasn't done anything wrong and that we're all just um, blowing everything out of proportion. And it's like, no. If they, Like I said, if it had been an 18-year-old guy and a 13-year-old girl, fucking hell, he'd have been being crucified. Like that. Whether he likes it or not. But you just don't do that with with a 13 year old to boot <sighs> but 
But yeah, Sand Sanders Kennedy found out, so he contacted the authorities. Sorry. He contacted the authorities. And um, that's why initially he didn't want to say names because of the plain simple fact that he wanted the police to get what they wanted to. Um, and when she did the video, I think she was actually doing the video directly to Sanders because Sanders was one of the first people I know that mentioned it. And... The plain simple fact that she thinks that it's okay to have a relationship, considering she's saying that there was no relationship, but even if they had, as long as it hadn't been sexual, everything would be fine. Which makes no sense. That it would have been fine. <laughs> no. In any in most Western worlds, that is illegal for a reason. And she just doesn't seem to comprehend the fact. And like I said, I don't believe that they haven't had sex or sexual contact. And apparently they've been together for a while. But right, let's have a look at this article. I'll read this article out for you. It's from The Sun. And it says, mind the gap, a woman 18 defends relationship with 13 year old in controversial video that even and even boy's mum supports her. 18 year old has been labelled a child abuser dating a boy, but his mother insists it's a good idea. Um, she had 60,000 subscribers and his maturity is not and maturi that his maturity is not determined by age. Yes, granted, you can get two people of the same age that have different maturity levels. I get that. But the plain and simple fact is, even if you have a higher maturity level than your age, doesn't make anything legal between an 18-year-old and a 13-year-old. The controversial relationship faced criticism from Adriana's fans earlier this summer when they spotted a minor lying shirtless on her bed in an Instagram post. Hmm, but there was no sexual contact. Although her boyfriend only boasts of... Uh, also boss a large following on Instagram, 13-year-old is currently four years underage of the consent, the age of consent in the state of Texas. So that means in Texas, the age of consent is 17. She's 18. He's 13. An attempt to defend the relationship, in an attempt to defend the relationship, Adriana explains video speaking up about our controversial relationships. Oh, she didn't expect to fall in love with the minor while they were getting just while they were just getting to know each other before officially entering into a relationship. Ariana claims that the couple and his parents consulted a lawyer who told them there was nothing wrong with dating as long as no sexual contact. Which might be legally correct. However, because of this Ariana argues She's not doing anything wrong, adding, it's sad to know that we have to put our love aside just because we don't, people don't want to see us together and people are ignorant. No, there is a reason why there is an age of consent and there is a reason why he's fucking 17 in your fucking state. Oh, there's a reason for age of consent because children cannot consent because they don't have the thought or brain capacity to consent and then addressing the followers who have reported like labeled child abuser she says it's sickening to see people don't want to see you happy without knowing anything about you no it's not that they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you happy with a 13 year old meanwhile the child's mother insists that she wouldn't never allowing to be in any kind of danger and claims Ariana's a good girl and who is very responsible. This reminds me of something. Um, not long ago I watched a um, documentary on Gary Glitter who is a British pop star from like 70s and 80s and that, um, way back when. And he'd moved in with a family after he'd lost his family. And... Um, the daughter of the family ended up in a relationship with him and ended up being married to him. 
Now, it sounds exactly the same as that. And, you know, they were saying, oh, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with blah, 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 when he was in his 20s and she was in her teens. Granted, bigger age gap. And the revolts are switched. But even if the revolt, re, re, roles are switched, it's still a bad idea. Meanwhile, the woman says she will never allow him to be in any kind of danger. And Ariane was a good girl who was very responsible. A good girl who's very responsible. She has a social following on social media. And she is putting out there that it is okay to sleep with a 13-year-old. Like I said, if, if she was 30 or he was 25... Or she was 23 and he was 18. I wouldn't have an issue with it. It's the fact that he's 13. At 13 years old, he should be hanging around with his mates. He should be doing his fucking homework. And he should be playing on his computer games. He shouldn't be messing about with an 18-year-old. Unsurprisingly, the couple have split since the, neg neg since the negativity got out of hand. Ariana believes the only reason this became such a big deal is because both me and him... Are both well known on social media. No. If I found out that somebody who I know who was 13 was in a relationship with an 18 year old. Whether it was sexual or not. They would have been fucking strung up. They would have been dragged straight to the police station and reported. You know if ands or buts to the situation. If somebody did that to my niece or my nephew I can tell you now. I can tell you now. That he would. Oh, it's just a plain simple fact that anything like this, if anybody hurt my niece or my nephew, I would. Oh, but I'd be, I'd be in a queue so, with both of them. So <laughs> my husband would be quite further on in the queue than me. And you know, it's just a plain simple fact. People think that this behaviour is fine. It's like it's the whole thing that if a female teacher sleeps with a male student that's still a bad idea a because she's in a position of power and b because he's a fucking child at the end of the day this kid is 13 he shouldn't be messing about with an 18 year old he shouldn't even be friends with an 18 year old he shouldn't have any contact with an 18 year old and the fact that she thinks that this is okay is really worrying Since the unlikely pair broke up, the brother's mother, mother said it's upsetting for me to see them because I can see and I can tell how much they both love each other. Well, if they're not in a relationship and they've not had sexual contact and they're not in a relationship anyway, then how do they, how can you tell they love each other? <laughs> Back in May, the beauty vlogger filmed a Q&A in which she revealed her plans to marry an underage Instagram model in just two years' time, so he would have been 15, which would have made him 15, which is still two years under the law. Um, Ariana concluded the bizarre 11-minute video by saying, viewers really know nothing because you've never been through it. I know of multiple people in my real life and... Case studies I studied at university and continue to study to this day who were in a relationship at the age of 12, 13 with somebody that was 18, 19, 20 and they said that that relationship fucked them up the reason why there is a statute of limitation is because you don't know what sex is. You don't know what a relationship is. You don't know what love is. And her saying that she was going to marry him when she was, when he was 15 and she was 20. What? As most of you guys know, anything that involves the protection of children or the harming of children, it gets my... Oh, gets my blood boiling. You guys know this from the whole Daddy of Five and several other stories we've covered on this channel. And I can tell you now 
that if I was anywhere near this girl, I would sit her down and I would show her case study after case study. I would show her example after example, which proof that this is a bad idea. If they were in the 20s, fine. I wouldn't have an issue with it. Because they're in the 20s, so they're mature enough to handle what's going on. Her behaviour is very reminiscent to that of a serial offender. Um, more specifically, a serial sex offender. And what they do is they become friends with the family, you know, they get to know the family, they get to know the child, they worm the way into the child, into the ho household, they worm, to, they worm the way. It, her name is um, Arianda or something. Um, she did have a YouTube channel, but I don't think she does anymore. But oh my god. <sighs> There is multiple case studies that prove this is a bad idea. What she's doing is exactly the same as what a serial offender does. She's whirling away into the family. She's whirling away into the entirety of the situation. She's whirling away into everybody's lives. So, and pursuing a relationship with this guy, but saying that it's not sexual. So you're going to wait four years until it's legally able to be sexual. There's a word for what I'm thinking in it. It starts with G as an I and a double O and ends with M. And also sometimes it has an I and G on the end. You He's a fucking child. A child. He's probably only just started puberty. Not probably, what, a year? 18 months into puberty? And she's trying to pursue a relationship with him. And she's saying the only reason why people have an issue is, 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 is because it, they don't understand. And it's like, no, we do understand. We've seen this happen. And the vast majority of people who have an issue have an issue because he's fucking 13. If this happened to my nephew at age 13, I can tell you now, his dad, his mum, me and my husband would flip. If he turned around to us at 13 and said, oh, I'm in a relationship with an 18 year old, I can tell you now, not one of the four of us would stand it. And the same with our niece. Not in a million years would I let that happen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even let that happen to somebody I barely know. It's like another example. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's harmful to the child. There's a reason why we have these things in place. Because before we didn't have such as limitations, children were being groomed so they thought that they were in the relationship voluntarily and they wanted the relationship. And then eventually it came out, oh shit, no, I don't really want this relationship. And it's like... And then afterwards they realised how much it fucked them up, how much it damaged them. They went through that. And then these people think, oh, it's fine to be in a relationship with your 13-year-old and I'm 18. No. Maybe if he was 13 and she was 15, I wouldn't have so much of an issue with it because they are both still children. Because the age gap's not as bad. It wouldn't be predatory, it would just be two kids. But even being in a sexual relationship, 113 and 115, is still a bad idea. It's like when people allow their children to do things in the house at 10 years old, 12 years old, it's like, bitch, there's a reason why sex and an age that's classed as a teen or a child is not a good idea. It's because a child's still developing, a child's still learning who they are, what they are, what they're going to become. What they want to do in life. And then throwing sex into the matter. When they are emotionally ill-equipped to handle it. They are physically ill-equipped to handle it. Well, yes, their body has the right reactions. It's still not the best idea. And then 
you seem to think that you're in love with the first guy that you sleep with. And then three weeks later, he's like, oh, I don't want you anymore. I want her. The amount of times I used to sit at the playground yard, and you'd see one couple who you know who just had sex, because one, one of them just told you that they'd just had sex, like a week before, split up, and then he goes off with somebody else. It, um, secrets is, there's a girl that's 18 years old. She was a YouTuber. I think she's deleted her channel, though has come out that she was having in a relationship with a 13-year-old boy. That's the topic of the conversation. And I'm just explaining how it is a really bad idea and how, regardless of the way the genders say, it is a bad idea. And that his 13-year-old lad should be messing about on his skateboard, doing homework, talking to his friends, playing on his computer games, etc., Rather than spending time with an 18-year-old girl who says they are in a relationship but they're not, who are not in a sexual relationship but they want to get married when they're 15, and that they're in love but they've not done anything sexual. Yeah, damn's right. And people wonder why we get pissed off about these things. It's because it's fucking stupid, it's dangerous, and... Ugh. But anybody who knows me knows this is one topic that will get my blood going like that and it pisses me off you do not impose or push a child into a relationship when there's that big of an age gap and one of you is classed as an adult yeah yeah the kid does need to concentrate on school needs to concentrate on school needs to concentrate on actually be having social relationships with people that don't involve sex because sex and relationships are not the best when you're fucking 13 years old like you, you change your mind every um where are the parents well her parents i don't know what don't know where her parents are but his parents are saying well we actually like the relationship we don't mind Like, oh, yeah, 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 no, they're fine. Yeah, 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 they, they can do what you want. <sighs> you were going to let your 13-year-old sleep, have a relationship. <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, say, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yes. The mother's fine. The mother's fine about the whole thing. I could ream off a thousand reasons why this is wrong. And if I was in Texas, I'd find her and tell her. Yeah, it does. Uh, those of you that are watching the stream afterwards, um, Secret Sister Study, the social me this social media and new tech ruined the age of childhood. It does. Um, the penchant for kids just sitting on computer stick uh, you know computer consoles and things like that or um not actually inter interacting with people is it's weird to me we when i was a kid we grew up we had to have dinner at the dinner at the kitchen room table we ate we talked um we went outside and played uh we didn't have a computer in the house until my brother was about 15, 16, which means I would have been about 12. And it was his, so I couldn't ask I went out on it. But when he moved out, uh, we got another one, and I was. That's the one that me and my stepdad shared. Because mum doesn't do much on computers. <laughs> Bit me intimidator. But it's the plain simple fact. This whole thing with the children, with the child's parents, are saying, yeah, we like the idea of this relationship. Are you fucking crazy? Like, really? You are going to say that it's okay for your 13-year-old to have a relationship with an 18-year-old and then marry her in two years' time when he's 15? They should. Um, Nosey's poor. I'm remembering when my son was 13. I can't wrap my brain around this. They should lose their kid. They should. In my opinion, they should. 
But like I said, do know Sand News Kennedy has reported this to police because he was the first person I know that mentioned it. He mentioned it last week. Um, but I didn't want to bring it up at that point because um, I did say on Twitter, does anybody know who that is? this is? And they actually sent me the tw link, of a, link of a Twitter, but she's put it on private so you can't access it. Uh, t Twitter or Instagram. And um, then when Phil covered it yesterday, I thought, right, Phil's covered it, I can cover it. Um, it was his video yesterday. His video for today should just come out. I'm just going to watch it in a minute. Um, when I come off. Because I am going to have to calm down before I go to sleep. <sighs> but most of you guys who know me know this is one topic that I can't defend in any way. Because I know for a fact how much damage it does to people. And the fact that these people think that it's fine. <sighs> It's like some people say, yeah, but it, it's it the 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 man of the relationship is the thirteen year old kid. It's like, yeah, just because it's not a thir thirteen year old girl and an eighteen year old boy or eighteen year old man, it doesn't make any difference. The damage still happens. The damage still exists. If you don't believe me, look at all the people that got raped by the Catholic Church, by the priests in the Catholic Church. If you don't believe me. Look at all the people that were raped in in private schools and boarding schools. All the boys that were abused. Whether you're male or female, a relationship at 13 year, years old with somebody who is over the age of 18 or over is a bad idea. Anybody who's in a relationship at 13 years old is a bad idea anyway. Because some place the fact is your brain chemistry is not right. <sighs> I'm going to have to come off before I lose my rank. Um, but, like I say, you guys know me and you know that this is one thing I will not stand for. It's like, granted, she's only 18, but still, even 18, it's still not a good idea. In any sense of the word. <sighs> no, they won't. They won't like kids for kids. I don't get it. What she's done is tantamount to grooming. And if she's done it to him, who else has she done it to? Sorry, that's just my opinion. Because I know what these people are like. And I know how they act. Trust me. Just to prove that. This is a fraction. You just see my trousers there. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I did my pajama bottoms. This is a very, very small fraction of, and when I say small, I mean I've got this big of information on this specific topic of child abuse. Because I have been working on doing non fiction things around child abuse for a while, because it is one thing that I advocate against. Oh, no, see, that's just really made me cringe. No, see, it's just put, well, I won't say what she's put, but just let me, I'm just telling you now, it's creepy. But yeah, I understand what you mean. It's uh, somebody under uh, age anywhere over 17 or even 15. It's just a bad idea in general. You just. Don't mix an adult and a child or that big of an age gap uh, that crucial of a life's te of a life bubble. You know what I mean? It's a life bubble. Good. Um, it's a life bubble. That is one of the most crucial parts of a child's life for them to develop who they're going to be as an adult. And to have that interrupted by somebody who is an adult or near enough an adult is horrible. Whether a lambs, there will always be wolves, yeah. We knew that exactly. You just have to protect children and this this mother clearly isn't protecting her child if she thinks that a relationship with an eighteen year old is fine. It's like bitch no. 
it's it's one of those things where people say, oh yeah, but it, it, if you if you're a kid and you're on YouTube or you're on you now, you you know you fair game. No, you're not. Just because a child's on you now or YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever doesn't mean that the fair game for somebody to contact them and say, oh, I really like your work, blah blah blah, and then it turns out that they're like five years older than them and they, they want to do naughty things. Uh, nope, that's criminal for a reason. And yeah, you're right. She is a disgrace, and she shouldn't call herself a mother. Sorry. You just see my nasty walls there. I am so sorry. We're in the process of redecorating that wall, so. Oh. Oh. Right, I'm going to come off before I lose my rag. Um, I really, 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 really need to calm down. Um. Yeah. Uh, no, this is just put. This card has no break exactly. No way of protecting himself, and he may only be involved because they are encouraging it exactly. So I'm going to log off and calm down. Stay safe, but good. Have fun, and I will see you probably Sunday after Comic Con. It all depends on how knocking out. But you will see me either Sunday or Monday. All right. Bye.